Hello, Bob. We've got another bumpkin bear, Bob. We got rogue pumpkin patch owl. How oh, frightening, bruv. Let's pull this shit awkwardly and wrong into a cup the size of the Empire State Building, bruv. Look at all that foam scud. Scud. I know, this ain't the proper way to pour it, bruv, but they're all getting the equal treatment. What is... What is the AP, ABV, bruv? Oh, no, it may be covered. No, oh, buddy. True wine, it may have covered it up, bubba. Hey, bubba. Can't see it, bruv. Bubba. I don't know what the fuck it is. Oh, there it is. That's it right there. I just got to uncover it a little more. What's it say, bruv? It's like 6.1, bruv. Go on, focus. There you go. 6.1, bruv. I'll let the foam scud. Look who we got. We got a special guest, owl number one, and then owl number two, bruv. Let me take a sip from the can, bruv. Very rich, bruv. Very rich, mellow, dear risk dream, bruv. Pumpkin patch pie is made with all pumpkins that we chop up and roast by hand. The hand roast allows us to caramelize the natural sugars exactly as we like, which, when combined with the delicate balance of spices, creates the signature flavor of our classic fall theme brew. We know you'll appreciate the effort, bruv, when you taste the difference, bruv. Roasting real bruv pumpkin makes sweet malt bitter roast biscuit. Skull and crossbones. Let's get a little more in there, bruv. Very rich color. Color blind as fuck, bruv, so I can't really tell you what color it is. If it looks brown, orange brown. Can't really judge it. Definitely, as pumpkin, it definitely has roasted pumpkin, as advertised. Very rich caramelization. And there's the oven telling me it's time, bruv. Um, yeah. Let's get it all in there, bruv. I'll get me a mustache soon. Pumpkin spice. I actually went to Wendy's today to try the pumpkin spice frosty. And guess what, bruv? The kid, the kid before me, he got it. And then they poured it into my cup. And it was a glopping slop of mess, bruv. So I was like, bruv, just... Cancel it, bruv, but let me have the cup so I can taste it. And it was divine, bruv. Very good. Very good, bruv. Is that a wheelbarrow, bruv, in the mountains? It appears to be. Let's get a taste out of this cup. Glass tumbler. See, bruv, it's a little better... It's a bit better out of the the can. The flavors were more intense. Maybe maybe my atomic pumpkin pole is not proper and actually is detrimental. Yeah, bruv, I'm losing the flavor inside the tumbler, inside the goblet. That's odd. Let's 
coming back a little bit, bruv. It's almost like when you freeze a Pepsi and then you un unfreeze it and then you drink the slush after you drank the liquid. It's different flavor. This is the same idea, bruv. The can held the flavor. Or maybe all the flavor was in the bottom of the sediment of the can. You think that could be it, buddy? Anyway, I'm going to rank this in the top three. In the top three. Easily in the top three. Yeah. I don't know what my previous score was on the top. The top pumpkin beer, but this one's about a 9.5. As an ale, I'd give it about an 8.5. But as a pumpkin ale, pretty much a 9.5. This one's going to be neck and neck. But as I said, brav, one fruit free will all be tried at the same time. I would blindfold myself, but it would probably be a moot point if I did it, brav. I could, bl <laughs> I could, yeah, but if I blindfolded myself, how would I fucking know which beer was which? All right, buddy. Speaking of witches. Can we get out with this fucking prattle so we can go back to bed, you fucking prick? Listen to me, you old whore. If I want your opinion, I'll ask it. Don't just fly in or unannounced. Next time you knock. Do you understand me? I do, sir. Well, fuck off, then. All right, bruv. We're going to give that 9-5, 8-5.